What's up everybody, I'm back with another video game review and today I am reviewing Spongebob Atlantis Square Pantis. Um, released on multiple platforms, I played it personally on the uh, DS, I uh, played the DS version on a 3DS, um, but I've also played it on the Wii, it's just been a long, long time since I played it on the Wii, but I have done that. Um, so... Uh, but I finally got a chance to play it again, and uh going to give my thoughts on it. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Uh, first off, this game has really good animation, in my opinion. Um, you know, SpongeBob games aren't always known for uh, their most high, the highest quality um, graphical content. Um, they're not known for bad graphics either, but they're most they're known for, you know, well, not great ones. This one is on the higher end, in my opinion. Um, I thought it was done really, really well. So, especially for the hardware they had for that time and how well it has aged. So, uh, that's really, really good. It very much this game very does feel much feel much very much does feel like the episode that the game is based on. It plays very, very it plays in the same way the episode does. Um, just some challenges thrown in um, for certain points in the episode. Um, it doesn't, um, you know, really go off the track too much. And you kind of expect that. Um, as I've said for other games based off specific television episodes, you're just going to have to follow the linear point of it, and that's really what it's going to be. So, it's pretty. if you've seen the episode... You probably already know the point of the game. Kind of know what you're going to be getting into. Um, but it's, it's still going to be fun. I do like the more 3D graphics. I said the animations are really good. The graphics are also really good. 3D um, graphics look really good in this game. So that's um, that's really, really good. Some of these uh, jump controls, they're very rapid. Um, you just got to go bam, 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 bam. Um, and it can be very hard to time them correctly. Um, because you just really got to spam it, but you, you got to still be kind of calculated with your timing and, and everything. So that can be a little bit hard to keep up with, um, uh, during, during the movie, uh, during the, during the game, not a movie. Uh, so just, just know that going in. Um, I don't like that the jellyfish just spawn wherever they feel like, um, it's it's pretty annoying because you know it's really hard to run through the level because they're always spawning in your place and then they knock you all over and you got to deal with them and it can just be pretty annoying um and it's really slow down the progress of the game and not and and makes so we can't really get that good of a rhythm going um with the game so um, I also wish Patrick and SpongeBob did a, a good, a better job of, of staying together, um, because it's really hard. It's really easy for them to get separated, and since you need them both to, um, since you need them both in order to progress through the level or get to the end of the level, um, you know you gotta make it, and you gotta spend. You know you get all the way through the level, of SpongeBob, and you gotta do do it again with Patrick, but you can't do it the same way because Patrick doesn't have a special jump. SpongeBob does which helps him scale uh, different parts of the level. I wish Patrick had some, some like, not not the same jump as SpongeBob, obviously, but something different to, um, but I wish he had something different so that he could, you know, scale the areas just like SpongeBob can. And I think that would be a better way to um, keep them together and uh, make the levels flow a little bit better. Um, also attacks are pretty hard to land because of the depth perception. Um, you know, they, the camera stays focused on the most frontal area, but you can go back into the game, like in the, near the background and go into different parts there where there are enemies and it, they're so small and there's depth perception issues that can really just cause, um, it to be hard to land and attack and do anything there. So just, just know that. Um, you gotta be pretty precise and kind of watch like any shadows or, or anything going on, 
Um, or just try to avoid the enemies as best as possible to avoid any potential issues with an attack. So, um, you know that going in. Um, also, and then you play, when you play Sandy, um, there's, there's a really weird first person shooter section. And I would not expect a SpongeBob game to have a first person shooter section in, in their game. It's a really weird placement that they, for, for, for something like this. And it's, it's pretty creative how they do it because it's, you know, it's something that they never did done before. And quite frankly, I hope they never do again, but it's just weird. I hope they never have, haven't done it again, I guess, because this game's not new. But it's it's kind of weird why they did that. Sorry. Um, and then I got a couple funny quotes that um, SpongeBob says during the game that I think are absolutely hilarious. Um one is maybe it's one of those fake words Mr. Krabs tells us tells me not to use like taxes. Ah, that's pretty funny. Um, and then alien planet like Texas. That's pretty funny uh, too. Kind of old callbacks to Mr. Krabs as a character and also the specific Texas episode. Um, that that's pretty funny. So overall, um, also I thought the music was pretty good. Um, some good bops in there as it usually is for, for Spongebob stuff, so um, that was pretty good. And then my overall feels on it, it, it just feels like a previous Spongebob games where it's it's fun, it's got good humor, um, but not the most uh, extensive gameplay story. You know the story going in um, because it's based off of a specific episode in the show, so uh, not that extensive, but still a fun, fun play. And this is uh, a game that I hold to a higher regard because it's one from my childhood. Um, played it on the Wii at my friend's house all the time, and now I get to play it for the DS in the review. So um, that's really, really good. So that's going to do it for this review, though. Once again, thank you to Lycan Miffrey for letting me borrow this game. I forgot to thank him. Uh, thank you, Lycan's. Let me borrow this one. My final score for SpongeBob Atlantis Square Pantus. I'm uh, probably going to have to give it a good 7 out of 10. Again, pretty simple game. Not too extensive, but a lot of fun to play. So, And that's going to do it for this review. If you've ever played this game, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And uh, that's going and that's um, going to do it for this video. Again, stay tuned for other much more amazing content, including more game reviews and other awesome stuff. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.